Hi, my name is Eric. I'm a Client Technologies Manager, and I'm reviewing Soho Assist, and I'm giving it a five stars over five. For more reviews like this, click below. We were using different tools like uh, uh, TeamViewer, uh, like the Teams remoting tool, Microsoft Teams remoting tool, but it, they were just for evaluation. We found in Soho uh, some different uh, tools that were fitting more what we were looking for, which is basically monitoring the sessions that our agents are starting to provide support to the users. Basically, the reasons why we choose Soho is because it was easy to set up and in, in, in our end, and it's a, it's a tool, it's a cloud-based tool. And the most important reason is that I was able to set up account for each agent so I can monitor the sessions that they are op opening and the time they are investing for the remote session, for the remote support. It was really easy. It was uh, not on my hands because that was a, a task that was developed by my architect my, my IT architect, but it was really easy because I remember it, it took like just less than a couple of days to set up all, all the, the, the platform so my agents were able to start using Zoho Assist. The recommendations I would do before starting using Zoho is make a plan so you can get all the licenses, the correct uh, number of licenses you need. You can assign, you can administer your your, your a bunch of licenses so you can assign to to each of your agents so make up for a proper plan uh, base it in, in the growing up you're going to have in, in in your infrastructure so you can uh, plan and get the correct licenses you have once you assign a license to an agent it will be attached to the to his username and so it's, it's, it's not good to be sharing usernames so that's why you should plan and assign for, for each agent, the, the proper license, so you can monitor each agent uh, on the time that they are providing the, the, the remote support.